Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha. Thank you for picking my video to watch today. I'm really excited about filming this, but I'm also like a tad bit nervous. But I just want to say that this video is purely based on my personal opinion. I am not sponsored by this company and I'm just going to give you my personal thoughts on what I think of it. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Essence Be Royal Not Cute palette. I have got this palette as a gift from my beautiful husband. I know that it retails at 230 Rand for 18 shades, which I don't think is too bad. So I have not opened it yet. It is brand spanking new. You get a cute little sticker thing, which I don't know if I'm ever going to use. And then this is sort of what the inside of the palette looks like. It's really beautifully packaged. It has got a plastic sleeve on it right now, which I'm going to be removing. So I decided we're going to review this palette, but I'm going to do it in a fun-ish way. I am super addicted to this app named TikTok. And I had seen a challenge called the Number Generator Challenge. Which I think is super fun. So, as I said, it has 18 shades in it. There are 2, 4, 6 matte shades. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12 shimmer shades. So, the shades' names are really cute. Everybody's Darling, Happily Ever After, This Is The Life, Take Your Oath, The True Woman, and Little Black Dress. So, those are those shades up there. I am going to be swatching them for you guys, so we'll see how that goes. And then the shimmer shades are called Royal Treatment, Glamour Queen, Champagne Glitz, His Princess. Marry Me Love, Cupcake Kisses, Give Me Diamonds, Crown Privilege, Wealthy Girl, Met the Prince, Stars in the Sky, and Casino Royale. But I am going to swatch them for you guys. So, let me open it up. Ah, so I've done my brows and I've primed my lids 
and we're going to get into this number generator makeup challenge plus review so i had swatched the colors guys they're not playing games with this palette like it is super pigmented like it's actually crazy so i've primed my lids of course like i've said and i researched how to do this number generator challenge how it goes is you're gonna google your number generator so let's do that random number generator great we got it then we are going to put the amount of shades in we have a maximum of 18 shades i just hope to god my whole eyelid is not going to be shimmer so your first shade would be your crease your second shade would be your lid your third shade would be your lower lash and your fourth shade would be your inner corner i have entered my number generator as you can see and i'm going to push generate and then we're going to get this show on the road so my first number that i got is the number four like i'm not even joking or playing games as you can see there and that means that my crease shade is going to be this <laughs> ah one two three four this shade over there so let's get into it i'm going in with my eyeshadow brush it doesn't have a lot of fallout but there is of course fallout so like i said before i have a hooded eye so my crease isn't where i'd want it to be but i'm gonna apply it to where I think it's gonna look nice so going in with the take your oath <laughs> guys I don't know why I'm feeling funny Great. Then we're going to generate the next number. Oh my god, guys. It's the number 12, which is this shade over here. Why oh, I got to do me like that? That had no axe. Nothing fell off of that brush when I did that. Do you guys see that pigmentation? Still no fallout. Oh, guys, if you dip in, oh, I have something bad to say. So if you dip into the palette too hard, I feel sad already. This is what happens. Do you see? Ah, <gasps> uh -uh. <sighs> that is sad. Let's not dip in so hard. Damn. So I will be perfecting this later, guys. Don't get me wrong. I'm not just going to leave this. Mm -mm. Oh, sorry. Number three is going to be my lower lash. Number six. That's the number I got. Number six. And I have a feeling it's a shimmer one. Oh, God. It's not even a shimmer one. This. This. 
Okay, I'm gonna go in with a more, I don't know how to explain this brush, it's like a more compact-y. I don't know if people use this as a shadow brush, but I do. So let's dip in. Guys, I hope it doesn't look like someone punched me in my face. Because, damn, it's pigmented. Are we seeing this pigmentation guys? I'm definitely feathering that out. It's been fun while it's lasted. <sighs> so now I'm going to do the very last one, which is the inner corner. And Lord, please, if you are there, can it be a shimmer? It says number eight. Oh, it's a good one. Number eight is a good one. Thank you. So it is this Glamour Queen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one. Oh. Oh. Oh, not bad at all. That's actually really beautiful for the inner corner. <laughs> wow. We learn something new every day, guys. So I'm just Jane favorite. Patting that on. I survived the makeup generator challenge. So I'm going to match this side of my face. Then I'm going to do my foundation and I'm going to be back to tell you guys what I thought of this palette. I don't think I did too bad with this challenge. Like, looking at the final product, I think I really, really love it. I did add a good winged liner to this look because I felt like it was dramatic enough to do. I also thought, let's rather go with the dark lip because why be boring? So, my thoughts on the palette. Number one, it is a really, really good price for the amount of shades that you get in here. And also, for the level of pigmentation, I think that Essence has really, really come through. And they are a really big contender for the big brand names. I mean, like, this in a corner shade over here, it's bomb. Beyond measure. The only thing that I did not enjoy about this palette, which isn't really a negative because I feel like I am really rough when it comes to applying my makeup, is that when I dipped in a little bit too hard, it sort of, it did this. That's the best way that I could describe it. But I will be gentle with it because it is a really, really good palette and I'm so happy that I actually chose this one because I did choose which one I wanted. Um, really good price, really good pigment, really nice application, really bold colors. I would be using this look to go out rather than go and watch Netflix on my couch. But there are some really pretty shades in here that are like for day-to-day -day thing. Like I would use these from day-to-day Really nice shimmer from day to day. But I would go bold like this for a night out. So I am going to give this palette a 10 out of 10. I know, oh my word. But it really, really is a good palette. It's a good buy. So if you want a good palette with a good range of colors, I would definitely suggest to go for the Essence be Royal Not Cute palette. Go out and buy it because it is a good buy. And the number generator challenge was really fun. I'm going to do another one. If you want me to do another one, please let me know. If you enjoyed it, also please let me know. And if you want to see other cool challenges like this in the future, also please let me know.
please give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to my channel if you want to know how to do easy quick looks and hit that bell icon to get a notification for when I upload because these videos are just getting cooler guys like why wouldn't you want to see me I will be back soon with my next video